by all means, do it. Do it. I have a medical exemption. No, I am, I am protected by ADA and HIPAA. I have always shopped without a mask. No, there's no way. No, no, I'm not leaving. She's not ringing me up. She called the police. Then take it off. I'm not moving. I'm not breaking the law. Ring me up. Good. Let's ring up. I will never come back to this store again. I'm calling your corporate. Unbelievable. You are violating HIPAA is what you're doing. You called the police. You are violating HIPAA. You are caught violating ADA and your mask is under your nose. So why don't you cover your nose? Do you have your paperwork That is a violation of HIPAA and ADA. You have no right to ask me about my medical situation. None. You are breaking the law right now. ADA and HIPAA. And you're, you're lucky you're ringing me up because I would slap a lawsuit against you personally so fast. Your total is $63.94. I will never shop in this store again. I will tell my friends to avoid. Cover your nose. If it's good enough for the goose, it's good enough for the gander. Where's the fellow that never wears a mask who works in this store? He's always very pleasant. He's not here today. Oh, yes, he's here all the time. You know what? You're going to go viral. Be sure to keep that nose covered. This is so unreal. Sandra, we we saw this coming. They are charging me. Actually, I'd like some cash back on my 10 cent purchase, please. It asked me if I'd like cash back. I'd like cash back. You don't have to wear your mask. Why don't you just like come and punch me? That's what your posture is. This is so unbelievable to me, you guys. It's unbelievable. I never wear a mask in this store. Listen to these people. Listen to these cents. Why don't we just try it for just the 10 cents? Shall we try it for just the 10 cents since it doesn't seem to be ringing through for the $40? Imagine that. You made it work. Is your name on the receipt? My name is Lisa. Excellent. You violated HIPAA and ADA and so many other laws just now. Oh, you want to harass me too? You want to go viral? I will call the police. Please, they already did. I'm waiting to talk to them. This is unbelievable, you guys. It's so ridiculous. They're violating so many laws. Cover your nose. Excuse me? It keeps slipping down. I need you to bag your groceries and leave the store. You already called the police. I'm happy to talk to them. I will bag my groceries. You are not going to disrupt the rest of my customers. It's a good thing you rang me up. Unbelievable, you guys. This is serious. And this is this is Sacramento County. I'm not even in the Bay Area. This is nuts. Don't worry, I have it all on video. The whole thing is on video. This is so ridiculous. I will never shop in this store again. I'm so glad I didn't bring my kids down here. It's so ridiculous. I'm going to wait and talk to the police. You don't even know how many laws you just broke. You have no idea, Lisa, how many laws you just broke. I hope this store has a good attorney. This is so absurd. And this long line of customers waiting to ring up, and you think I'm the problem. I know, you're so fast and efficient, Lisa. Why doesn't this lady cover her nose? What's good enough for the goose is good enough for the gander. Oh, and they're all cheering. 
You gonna cheer when they round you up? You gonna cheer when they put you in a concentration camp? Because that's what's coming next. Look at this, you guys. This is real. Look at this. This is it. This is it. Look at this, you guys. This is real. This is what the masses have become. This is what the mass. Please, I'm waiting for the police. I have a right to stand here. Wait by your car. I can stand anywhere I fucking well want. This is a public place. You are a place of business. This is real, you guys. I'm at Food Max, Shannon, in Citrus Heights. Did you see those people? They were ready to rip me apart. And now they're in there apologizing for me, and I'm waiting for the police. This is unreal, you guys. She like tried to like grab my stuff and physically throw me out of the store. Look at this. These people are like applauding. And half of them don't have their masks up over their noses. This is what the masses have become. I'm so angry. This is so ridiculous. They have broken so many laws. You guys, we have a right to shop. I've told them ADA, HIPAA, they don't care. They still called the police. I gotta go home. I gotta deal with my kids. Grocery store, we get harassed. This is why I avoid Sprouts. This is why I avoid all these other stores that, you know, harass us and break our law, break the law. You don't have to wear that mask, it's not a law. These people are unreal. They're just like zombies walking by in the New World Order. And I'm actually waiting for the police. Unbelievable. You guys, I don't really have time to do this. I am like on a time crunch. I'm tempted to like call the police and tell them to like hurry up because I'm used to dealing with them because of the recall. I probably know the guys that are showing up. Ugh, so frustrating. I really don't have time to be here, you guys. I just gotta like deal with my kids. I wish the police would get here. This is so stupid. I think I'm gonna have to shut this off. I'm already behind. Like this lady grabbed the cart for me, this Lisa in here, and now she's apol like she thinks she's some kind of hostess. She's apologizing to all the customers. Do you see that? Like I'm the problem. I've never had a problem with Food Max. I know I keep saying that, but I'm never shopping here again. This threw me off guard. I do not have time. I have to go home and deal with the kids. Could you get the police here, please, since you decided to call them? I'd really like to talk to the police, please. Could you please get them here? Okay, can you go out? God bless America. America's about freedom, not masks. No, they don't. It's not a law. It did not pass through a legislative process. It is an unconstitutional mandate. It's not a law. It's not a law. You can take that mask off right now. This is the lady that harassed me. She's the one that attacked me in the beginning. You have a right to take off your mask. This is real on a Saturday morning. Well, look at the middle finger, too. Next, they'll pull out the guns, and they think they know something about freedom. I would never put a mask on my children, ever. They have a right to breathe air. They have a right to breathe air. This is the masses, you guys. Lisa, your nose is out. Your nose is out, Lisa. You're supposed to cover your nose. This is unreal to me, you guys. Where's the police? You said you called the police. Thank you. Saturday morning at Food Max, you guys, it's never dull. I've never worn a mask in here before, ever. I've never worn, this guy's not wearing a mask. Why aren't you harassing him? Why aren't you harassing him, Lisa? He's not wearing a mask. Why didn't you harass this fellow? 
What is the double standard, Lisa? Why aren't you harassing him? I just try to figure out what makes you better than everyone. It's not better. It's not a law. You have freedom. You have inherent rights. You don't have to wear that mask. It's not a law. It's a mandate and it's unconstitutional. This is unreal. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. This is the direction that it's going in the world. This is not good. Lisa, where are the police? I'd really yeah. like to speak to them. Didn't you say you called them? Yeah. I'm waiting for the police. I'd really like to talk to them. I'm used to dealing with them. Uh, thank you. I'm not sure if you work here or if you're the hostess. Oh yeah, you're the manager. Is that what you said? Shannon Heil, we have to dismantle this. Now that we're done with the recall, this is absurd. I mean, this lady grabbed my cart. She like threatened me. She harassed me. Wow, you don't care about your rights? You keep pulling down your mask. Why are you pulling down your mask? Isn't it supposed to protect you? This is unreal, you guys. This is probably more frustrating than even the Capitol. And where are the police? They're supposed to come. I don't have time for this. I really don't. Ugh. You guys, I can't stay. I would like to follow up with the police. It's not that I'm like scared of the police, but I really don't have time for this. I think the crowd might be different on Saturdays. I don't think I've actually um, shopped at Food Max on a Saturday. That might be the difference. Lisa, could you give the police my phone number and they can follow up with me? Because I really need to go. They're a block away. Perfect. Everything. Everything's wrong. But I'm glad to see you're not wearing a mask. You guys, this is so ridiculous. You wear it well. They talk about everything. Pajamas, it doesn't matter. You guys, people have lost their minds. They've lost their minds. Daniel, you have to do the shopping from now on. I'm not doing this. See, they are. I'm waiting for the police. They called the police on me. I'm doing my due diligence. I cannot believe you mask your children. It's so sad. They have a right to breathe air. Your children have a right to breathe air. You guys, this is unbelievable. This is real. 5150. Okay. Involuntary psychiatric hold. How about that? This is unreal. Guys, I can't even believe it. Where are the police? Oh, you got your toilet paper. That's good. The apocalypse is coming. This is people. This is real people. Oh. All right, I don't have time for this. I have a Saturday I have to live. Please, 415-259-1076. Please, have the police call me, by all means. I don't have time for this. I've got a life to live, and I have rights, and you violated them all. HIPAA and ADA. Unbelievable, you guys. Like, I wait 15 after two minutes after they, like, take my cart from me. Now watch, she'll probably try to block me from leaving. First she wanted me to leave, and now she'll probably try to block me from leaving. Which is it? Please, by all means. Unbelievable. You said the police were coming, Lisa. Where are they? I would love to talk to them. I waited 15 extra minutes. Oh my God. You guys, seriously, this is, please, by all means, I can give you my address. Your kids can come over and 
play. They would be welcome. They can come pet my goats. They can come pet my goats. Please, by all means, record it all, Lisa. Do it. I'm still waiting for the police. You said you called them. Why are they here? 415. 259 1076. And what's your name? Though? My name is Andrea Hedstrom. Lots of pictures. We all took pictures. It's all documented. You guys, I am so angry. That just took up an hour of my time when it was supposed to take 10 minutes. God, this is Sacramento County. I'm like an hour behind as if I have time for this. I like spent, oh, I'm so frustrated. I can't believe that that just happened. I have never had a problem in Food Max, ever. And the police still aren't here. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm gonna shut this thing off because I need to actually call a few people because um, I'm so behind what I needed to be doing today. Like, pure harassment.